And we are the Gun Trace Task Force. And no matter what you're doing out there in those streets. Jackpot, motherfuckers. Woo! Your word prevails. The story of We Own the City is about one of the most corrupt squads in policing history. Police! This is not just make-believe. Every single story in this series was based on some real-life true event. We Own the City is a book by Justin Fenton. Yeah, I've been a crime reporter in Baltimore since 2008, so I had a front row seat to, to all of these stories. Back when I was coming up, police officers used to pull up on a crowd of people. <laughs> jumped out of the car, and they made all of us lie down face first on the concrete. They all go. And when I became a journalist, <laughs> I felt compelled to tell their stories, to tell my story, to talk about what we've been going through. There's something really gratifying about working off the reel, but then it carries this concomitant responsibility. In the writer's room, we, we had to argue out what is it fair to say, what is it not fair to say. The pandemic put us all in a position where we actually could take a year and a half to write this thing. George Pelicanos and, and David Simon, their research is second to none. In the writer's room, there was court documents and all types of things stacked up to the ceiling, right? We tried to film mostly in the locations where the incidents occurred. You know where the shellings were placed, exactly the cross streets, the type of car, the make, the vehicle, who was on the streets. It feels authentic because it is. I'm Nicole Steele with the Department of Justice. Nicole Steele is one of the few people in the show who's not based on somebody who's real. Nicole Steele is a composite, really, of a number of investigators with the uh, Civil Rights Division. We hold hands, we twist arms. Ray and David and George, we all talked about how Nicole's character almost feels like the audience. She's watching this melee of madness and asking why. There was a lot of discussion in the writer's room about the limits of the federal government's consent decrees. Given the continuing war against drugs, Ed, through Nicole Steele's character, we get to see her struggling with that. What happens if the police don't want to change? We really wanted to pay attention, not only to the, what was happening in the country's task force, but what was happening in the world around them. The conversation is bigger than a few bad apples. The conversation should be about a system that rewards officers for being the bad apples. I think Baltimore is a microcosm for what's happening all over the country. Action. On the ground, get down on the ground. Hey, man, that's some great fucking police work, dog. It's yours, you earned it.